Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So I know it's not officially autumn yet, but obviously it's good to be prepared. And so I thought I would chat through 10 of my autumn wardrobe essentials. These items are not trend driven. They are just some really classic, timeless wardrobe staples that can be worn year after year in many different ways. Um, just to let you know, this video has been sponsored by Squarespace. If you follow my channel already, you will know that I use Squarespace for my blog. And I will chat a little bit more about that later on in the video. And I also have a discount code as well. Um, and also, all of these pieces will be linked below in the description box if they're still available. I think most of them are still available. Um, but if not, then I will try and link a really good alternative. Um, I will also pop my size in the description box as well. And any other items I style up throughout the video will be down there too. Um, but yeah, let's get going with autumn wardrobe staple number one. And I'm going to start off super simple with a pair of black jeans. I feel like for me, my black jeans kind of get forgotten about throughout summer and kind of spring as well. And then as soon as autumn hits, I am loving them again. These ones that I've picked out are from Everlane and they are called the Cheeky Jean. And personally, I just love a straight leg jean. I think they are very flattering. I think they're very classic and timeless and give a little bit more of like a effortless kind of stylish look compared to a skinny jean. Slightly more of a mature look, I guess. But saying that, I love a good pair of black skinny jeans as well, but I just thought including one pair of black jeans, for me, it had to be a pair of washed black straight leg ones. Sticking with jeans and my next autumn wardrobe staple is a pair of blue jeans. Again, this can be your personal preference if you prefer straight leg, skinny, mum. I actually picked out these Topshop mum jeans just because I've been wearing them quite a lot recently and love them, but they are quite a light wash for autumn. So maybe I'd probably go for something a bit more of a mid blue, um, but I just think these are a great pair of jeans and I will definitely be wearing them a lot throughout autumn. And again, they go with all of these pieces perfectly. I know I said they are a mum jean, but actually I say they fit more like a straight skinny jean they're not like your typical baggy then kind of carrot leg jean they're quite a they're quite a subtle mum jean um which i think makes them a little bit easier to style as well um so i will leave them linked below but i yeah, i love the fit of these and actually they fit your waist and your hips really nicely as well which is quite hard to find with a mum jean okay i'm going to continue with bottom half and then I will move on to top half afterwards. Um, so my next autumn wardrobe staple is a pair of faux leather trousers. And I lived in faux leather trousers last autumn winter. I just love the way they look. I love how comfortable they are. I love how stylish they look, but they can also be like dressed down and make them look super casual with chunky knits. Um, I've got three pairs that I've pulled out just because these were my three favorite pairs last year. Um, but obviously you could just kind of pick out the style that you think suits you more. Um, so my first pair are from Mango and they are a slim leg, slightly cropped trouser with a zip detail at the bottom. I don't know if you remember, but I actually styled these up for my workwear video at the beginning of the year. And because of the style of them, I think they work really well as like a smart trouser. You can really smarten them up or dress them down with trainers as well. I think these were about 30 pounds. And I'm sure Mango will have something very similar in this year. So I will have a little look and I will link them below. This next pair of faux leather trousers have got to be my most worn item of clothing last autumn winter. I lived in these. They are the most comfortable pair. They are so stretchy. They're fleece lined. They, I just would, anytime I was going out and I wanted to be warm and comfortable, I would pop these on and they have had more than enough wear out of them. In fact, they've started to rip a little bit at the back and the waistband is coming away a little bit there, um, but I'm not surprised. They have been worn and worn and worn. Um, these are actually from Miss Selfridge at ASOS, but they are very, very similar to the Topshop ones. Um, I think because Miss Selfridge and Topshop are both the Arcadia group, so I think they're pretty much the same trouser, really. Um, so I will leave the Topshop ones linked below because I checked the Topshop website yesterday and they are back in stock this year. They sell out super quickly, so I'll pop them in the description box. And if you are after a really good pair of comfortable leather look leggings, then these are just 
fantastic. And then the third option of faux leather trousers that I wanted to quickly show you are these kind of jogger style leather trousers from ASOS. These are just a bit more of a relaxed style of leather trouser. If you prefer a bit more of a casual look with trainers and maybe like a blazer on top to smarten them up, that's how I styled them last year. Um, and they're just very comfortable, very easy to wear, and just a really nice, slightly different style. So I thought I would quickly mention them as well, but this just counts as one autumn wardrobe staple, a pair of faux leather trousers, or leather trousers if you prefer. And then my final wardrobe staple for the bottom half is a pair of black trousers. And these ones are from ASOS. They were in my what's new in my wardrobe video a couple of weeks ago. And they're just a really lovely pair of black trousers. They're kind of like that sort of style that you can dress up or dress down. Um, they're quite like a balloon style leg, a little bit baggier. So if you prefer something a bit more tailored, then these might not be for you. Um, but any black trouser in general, I just love the way black trousers can be dressed up or dressed down. You can wear them with heels, you can wear them with trainers or loafers, a bit more smart. Um, and I just think they're a really good autumn wardrobe staple. Okay, moving on to the top half. And I feel like I've cheated a little bit with this one. Um, but my next autumn wardrobe staple is a good t-shirt. And I have actually pulled out three t-shirts black, grey and white but obviously this kind of counts as one autumn wardrobe staple I would just say a good t-shirt I'd say for me the black is definitely my most worn kind of t-shirt option in autumn because it goes with all of these colours and kind of gives a bit more of a muted sort of autumnal feel but obviously white is also a really good option and I love the colour of this one so I wanted to just include it as well um, but a good t-shirt is a good wardrobe essential for me this time of year well all year really <laughs> my next autumn wardrobe essential would be a nice shirt i just think a shirt gives a more kind of smart sophisticated look to an outfit makes you look a bit more put together so if you styled this with the washed black jeans it would look a little bit more smart than it would if you just had a t-shirt on or a jumper i love the color of this one i just think it's a really gorgeous muted khaki perfect for this time of year and very flattering on a lot of skin tones um, but i did also pull out a white shirt as well this is actually a white linen shirt and i probably should have picked out a cotton shirt because i feel like that's a slightly more suitable for autumn um, but i would just say a good shirt in general whether that's white black khaki beige a nice shirt is always a good wardrobe staple and then my next autumn wardrobe staple would be a good classic simple jumper and um, so i pulled out this one and i've actually got a few others from new look as well that i pulled out as a bit more of an affordable option um this one is 100 percent cashmere and it is just a beautiful jumper perfect for layering and will look great underneath all of these jackets and blazers that i will move on to in a minute this one is actually color blocked so it's got the camel on the neck the cuffs and on the back as well but it does come in all one color options as well there's loads of different color options so i will leave that link below if you're looking for a lovely cashmere jumper um but then you can also get great cashmere jumpers from marks and spencers um or a wool jumper and other stories do some really great basic knits as well and then for a more affordable option these basic rib jumpers from new look are great they're very simple very stretchy and great for layering because they're quite fitted they look really nice tucked into jeans and high-waisted trousers as well so i actually got this one last year in the cream gray and camel as well because i just love the style of it um, and i think they are 14.99 as well so if they're back in stock this year i will leave them linked below okay moving on to outerwear and first up is a good trench coat and i just feel like a trench coat is such a great classic wardrobe staple so timeless so effortlessly chic and this would look amazing styled with all of these pieces underneath well not all of them at the same time but you know you get the gist i love the look of a trench coat this time of year um i've actually got this trench coat in both the cream color and this beautiful kind of beigey khaki brown i'd say 
Um, I absolutely love both of them. Um, but I think the cream is kind of more your classic trench colour. But I will try and leave some different options for great trench coats that are available at the moment. I've seen a lovely one at Mango, I think, online. H&M always have really good trench coats. Zara have got a gorgeous one in this year. I'll try and leave as many kind of options below if you're looking for a good one. Um, but these two are beautiful and I will be wearing them a lot over the next few months. Okay, I've just got two more wardrobe staples to talk to you about. And first up is a good leather jacket. And again, just a very timeless wardrobe staple. It will come out year after year, all year round really. I feel like a good leather jacket is a good all year round piece. Um, this one is from All Saints. I actually got this one in a size UK 8 and I definitely regret getting an 8. I wish I'd sized up to the 10 because these come up very small. I don't know if you can see, but if I sort of hold it together, well, you'll see it on anyway, um, but it definitely runs very small. This is quite snug and definitely too snug to be worn over the top of chunky knitwear. Um, but I do love the way this looks over the top of dresses, skirts and t-shirts jeans and t-shirts um it's just a really great wardrobe staple and i couldn't not include a good leather jacket being from all saints this one was quite expensive i think it was about 250 pounds maybe slightly less i think i paid slightly less for it um but it is a very beautiful leather jacket the quality of it is gorgeous the leather is super soft um, and i love the style of it as well like i love that kind of biker style of it um, Topshop have got a very similar one, which is a lot more affordable. I will leave it linked below, um, but I think that's around the £100 mark, maybe slightly more. Um, but All Saints do do beautiful leather jackets, and this is definitely a wardrobe staple for me. And then last but not least, I could not film a autumn wardrobe staples video without including a good blazer. And I love a blazer. If you follow my channel already, you'll know that... I love a blazer all year round, really, but I'd say autumn in particular, just, just love a good blazer. Um, so I've got a black one to show you. This one is from Mango. I've had it for about two years now, and I have worn it so, so much. It's just the most beautiful structured blazer. It's got padded shoulders. It's a bit oversized. It looks amazing styled with so many different outfits. I love this. I highly recommend it. Um, this one has obviously sold out because it was from two years ago, but they've got a very, very similar one. I think it's pretty much identical this year. So I will leave that one linked below instead. Um, but yeah, I think Mango do blazers so, so well. And then for a slightly lighter option, I've also picked out this cream one from Everlane. Personally, I think black is always a good option, but I did just want to show you this one as another alternative option oh and also there's another gorgeous one from everlane that was in a recent video of mine it's like a autumnal i will insert a clip of it i don't know why i didn't pull it out actually um but it is like the perfect autumnal color so another good option but for me i think for wardrobe staples i would stick with the kind of classic neutrals that go with so many different other colors and can be styled and worn time and time again are always a winner for me. So they're my 10 autumn wardrobe staples that I managed to narrow it down to. Um, I could have picked out so many more pieces. And in fact, I think I am going to film a autumn capsule wardrobe video. So do let me know if you would like to see that because then I can show you a bit more of a slightly more larger collection of items to create the perfect autumn capsule wardrobe. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it was sponsored by Squarespace. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't heard me talk about Squarespace before, they are a website building and hosting service. And I have been using them to create my blog, which by the way, I do have a blog post going up that will coincide with this video. So it'll be 10 autumn wardrobe staples as well, but I will show you some different options for each piece. So good black blazers and good jeans. Um, so I will leave that link below if you would like to have a little look. But Squarespace is just a great platform for creating a blog, a website, a podcast. There are hundreds of templates to get you up and running with little effort. And the fact that you don't need to use complicated coding is a win for me. 
If you would like to give it a go, I do have a discount code. You just need to go to www.squarespace.com forward slash model mouth for a free trial. And then when you are ready to go, you can use discount code model mouth for 10% off any website or domain. But all of the information will be in the description box below. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or any feedback, or if you think there's any wardrobe staples that I've missed out that are vital for an autumn wardrobe, then do leave a comment and let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.